Hey guys, and welcome. Today on ATPR Theory, we're going to be talking about flight mechanics, lift, weight, thrust, and drag. And we're going to be answering two misunderstood questions. Why is weight greater in a climb? And why do we need more lift in a turn? So first, let's talk about these four forces. Lift, perpendicular to the wings. Weight, down towards the center of the earth. Thrust, generated by the engines. Drag, generated by the airframe as it goes through the air. In level, balanced flight, steady flight, thrust will be equal to drag, and lift will be equal to weight. Now what happens if we pitch up to climb? As we pitch up, remember the weight we cannot change. That is always going to be straight down towards the center of the earth. There's always going to be a vertical component to that weight. As we pitch up, you can see that weight component is now tilted slightly. To maintain a steady climb, the forces still have to be balanced. We still have to have the same amount of thrust as drag and the same amount of lift as weight. That weight has now divided into two vectors. We now have a backward component to that weight. As it is a backward component, it goes added on to the drag. So how do we counteract the drag with the thrust? So as you can see, that extra backward component of weight is added onto the drag and counteracted by extra thrust. As there is a portion of the weight being counteracted by extra thrust in this case, the lift is only having to counteract that portion of the weight. And as you can see by basic trigonometry, the total component of the weight is actually a hypotenuse now. So it's going to be greater than that section there, which is going to be equal to the lift. So weight is greater than lift in a climb. A little counterintuitive when you say it, but I hope that drawing has explained it to you. Let me know in the comments below what weight and lift are like in a steady descent. Now, turning, the other question which is misunderstood, why do we need more lift in a turn? If the TAS and angular bank are the same, your radius of turn will be the same, no matter what your weight, no matter the type of aircraft. If you double your TAS, the rate of turn will be halved. Very important points to remember. Now, why do we need extra lift in a turn? As you can see, in straight and level flight, lift and weight would be equal. Now, if we turn the aircraft, that lift vector is going to come off to the side here because it's always going to be perpendicular to the wing. Weight will always be straight down towards the center of the earth. So to counter that vertical component of the weight, if we translate that up to here, you can now see that from the initial one we needed, if we turn that round, we would now need an extra bit to counteract that vertical component. The other component of the lift gets turned into centripetal force. It's that horizontal component of the lift which makes the aircraft turn. So as you can see, the bigger the angle of bank is, the more lift we would need to get that lift all the way up to counteract the vertical component of the weight. I hope that's answered a couple of questions which are commonly misunderstood. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. All the best, till next time.